United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, if we could have a motion to um, approve the minutes of our July 13th meeting. Move to approve minutes. Second. Second. All right, we have a motion and second. Is there, uh, was, uh, who is the second? Was that you? Give it to Tree. Okay. Um, Appreciate it. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor state aye. 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 All right. Don't you're gonna have to uh, unmute. And uh, any opposed? Chair votes aye. Um, the minutes are approved. Do we have Chuck joining us? Um, we're going to 3.1, which is a resolution uh, submitting financial trends monitoring analysis from 2015 through 2019. Who would like to take this? Anyone? Todd, Marty? <laughs> I guess I can take it, Mary Lynn. Um, these are the financial. These are the financial trends for 2020 um, monitoring and analysis. Um, this is something that's been provided uh, by the city administrator in the past years. So we thought it would be good for the committee to uh, read and review. As you can see on page uh, page four, obviously you can see a lot of the trends are saying very favorable. Um, Again, this is mainly just for review for upcoming tax, tax revenue, and um, the, the spending that we have coming up. Any, any questions? Uh, all right, I know that Jim Warren had uh, wanted to know where the information came from, and that seemed to be a pretty good question. Do we, uh, do we know who compiled this? It looks pretty official to me. <laughs> uh, I think Marty got back to me, and I think he said that uh, Daryl was work. <clears throat> Daryl was working on this with with his uh, with his assistant at the time, and I believe it came from audited data. Yeah, this is okay. Marty. And there was some discussion that maybe Noah had uh, provided some. Uh, yeah. Some information. Is that um, true, Marty? Yes, uh, this was one of the projects Daryl had been working on and he did have uh, Noah, the intern, compiling a lot of the data. Uh, we did have 2019 draft financials available for him to pull for the current information, but uh, previous years would have come out of the audited financial statements. Um, and as Todd alluded to before, the, the numbers are favorable, um, but I... Yeah, this would just become one of those where do we find good value in this report versus other reports and trying to determine what the right metrics are to, to give you a clear and timely picture overall of the city's financial position would be how I'd want to approach this going forward. So I guess my question is um, to any committee members or Todd, do you remember seeing a document like this before? I mean, is this co compiled year over year? I believe it is. I believe this is a trend analysis that has been started. I don't think it was much before I arrived, and I think this was one of uh, Daryl's newer uh, reports that he started to pull together data. Uh, Todd, have you had a chance to look at it? Yeah, I, I believe that it's basically just giving us a, uh, an overview of the, the past five years. And then, you know, as we continue to move forward, we'll be able to add to it. Um, it's just to give the council and the committee the, uh, a better feeling of where we are and what, how things have been fluctuating. Obviously, 2020 is going to be a, a unique situation um, for all of the trends. Um, and as, as we've heard, you know, a lot of the uh, groups are probably going to end up looking at 2020 as more of a, a skip over a year when it comes to trending. Bert, go ahead. Um, 
As a newbie, I really liked the report because it um, gave me a helicopter view. It gave me, I, I really appreciate trend lines. If you give me a number in the middle of nothing, it means not a whole lot. So I would like it going forward because it's, it's a high enough overview and it would send a warning signal if we were, if there were trouble. So I appreciated it. Thank you. We'll keep Any it. Any other questions or comments? One thing, one thing that uh, I think we've gotten periodically since I've been on the committee, but I, I can't say lately uh, that something that might be helpful would be kind of like uh, how we're running on the budget, uh, you know, for the various departments, like maybe quarterly or at least semi-annually uh, to let us know if we're meeting our targets budget-wise, are we over, under, anything we, sh we have to look out for for the rest of the year. That type of thing would be would also be helpful, I think, and that's why I was kind of a, that's why I was kind of asking uh, at the end of the first quarter and at the end of the second quarter for information on our revenue streams. I know I know our revenue streams are going to be nowhere near what they were in 19, but to give us at least some kind of an idea where we were standing, so that we don't get a shock at the end of the third quarter going into finalizing the budget. And you may, you may remember, Jim, uh, that we did ask Nancy Buss to do that, and she did it briefly. She would do quarterly reports. Um, I'm, I'm not, it's not that the information wasn't accurate, um, but uh, I think certainly we need to be um, striving for um, the kind of reports that any of us who serve on nonprofit organizations would expect from our um, financial folks on a monthly or quarterly basis. Um, I understand now that that's difficult and um, Nancy's system was quite bespoke. And so as we're moving into a more standardized kind of reporting, uh, it's my understanding as well that that's, the information is a little hard to get. But I think that we clearly, clearly need to, to have that information available. Any other comments or questions? Hearing none, I would ask for a motion to uh, receive and forward the document to council. So moved. That was Trey. Is there a second? I'll second it, Warren. Seconded by Jim. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor state aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. The motion passes. Okie dokie. We're going to move on to uh, 3.2, which is uh, an ordinance amending section 82-33 of the municipal code to modify the Department of Finance table of organizations. And Marty, are you going to take that, Todd? Yeah, I can start. Um, Todd probably will add to it and possibly even uh, Vicki. But uh, as the changes that were made to Section 8233, where a city administrator has a bit more autonomy to be able to add positions when needed, uh, this was a identified area of support that's needed for the finance department uh, with the uh, awareness of policies and procedures lacking, uh, which were identified in the CLA assessment, uh, the audit findings that have uh, occurred, and the action plan that was put together with that. The SKAs, as I call them, Skills, Knowledge, and Abilities. I stole that acronym from a, uh, well, a, a very um, intelligent individual that certainly I'm going to use it frequently uh, finance department is definitely in need of some growth and training and knowledge. Um, along those same lines, we have technology shortfalls both on the software side but also on the training um, and implementation of what we need to, to do to become more efficient, uh, functioning in, in a AS400 legacy system and Munis is not ideal. Uh, to get off that AS400 is going to take 
not only software conversion time, but training and, and uh, resources to be able to put modules such as park and rec into place or <coughs> project management into place or our loans, which business and personal loans are being tracked on spreadsheets, AS400 and sort of reconciled into our ERP Munis, which it, it needs to all get into Munis so that it can be um, using the efficiencies built into the software to reconcile automatically and then uh, not spending a lot of staff time kind of chasing the dollar. Uh, there's the capital assets are a, a significant undertaking that are all being done on very uh, archaic inefficient spreadsheets creating significant amount of staff time at year end to try to bring them close. Uh, awareness of inaccuracies definitely are being um, recognized within the audit process. Uh, so there's, there's just projects upon projects and, and much of it is foundational and or historic. And so it's trying to develop what's going to be a good process going forward without all the tools yet in place. And in order to accomplish all of these different uh, areas of need, uh, the uh, awareness and assessment of, of CLA saying it's difficult to probably accomplish all of that with the existing structure, makeup, and staff uh, would be difficult. So the need and discussion that has taken place with myself, Todd, and Vicki, uh, this accountant three is you know, something that we, we discussed, we've already revised um, all the other job position responsibilities, which will be communicated and working with the staff to uh, bring together a longer term plan and making sure that we can be held accountable to those, those tasks all getting done. Todd, I uh, would appreciate your thoughts before we open for questions. Yep, no, thank you. Um, thank you, Chair. Um, as you guys, as the committee should know, obviously, according to Section 82, the city administrator does have the, the ability to make changes to the uh, table of organization. The reason we're bringing it forward, though, is it's, it's my responsibility as well as our department heads to find uh, ways to make improvements and in, in the short period of time that I've been in this position, uh, working with Marty and, and Vicki, looking at the human, human resources department as well as the finance department, it has been determined significantly that before we can actually make improvements within these departments, uh, whether it's through job descriptions, job processes, and training, we need additional horsepower in that department. Um, I'm not going to go into depth on the uh, deficiencies and things like that because you guys have read the report. There's also additional information that was not covered in the report, and I'm asking for support of the committee and the council that we um, are allowed to fill this position so that we can address the additional changes that need to be done within this, this area of focus. Um, presently, we've, al we've already met or we are meeting with uh, different uh, people within this department, uh, just like it was done in the uh, human resource department. And what will happen is uh, these, the employees will be looking at their job descriptions, the changes, uh, the cross-training that's going to be addressed. We will be identifying um, any training needs. And while this is happening, we're looking to bring in a, an accountant three so that we can speed things up as far as training, um, deficiencies in, in positions and processes, and basically, as I call it, start filling the holes in the boat so that we can get reporting done quickly and accurately um, because we all know that there's been some deficiencies. So I, I'm, again, asking that this, this position be supported by the committee and the council so that we can expedite, expedite um, the improvements that are needed. And again, as an example, AS400, if, if we stay on the course that we're on, uh, it'll be, you know, three to five years before we get off of it. Um, by bringing in this, this position, it, also, it allows us more horsepower to get off of these uh, systems and get them onto Munis very quickly. If you have any questions, please let me know. Questions for either Todd or Marty? Jim? Uh, thank you. Uh, 
I'm, I'm looking at the uh, document now. We're going to be deleting the accounts payable purchasing assistance. Is that eliminating the position of the person that recently retired? Yeah, thank you, Alder Barron. Uh, the accounts payable assistant retirement uh, was a component of this kind of, I guess, restructure between <coughs> HR and finance. The position was filled uh, as a office services, uh, admin services clerk two. We had previously had an admin services clerk one uh, created about yeah, probably about a year ago, and we felt creating another admin services clerk too, whose emphasis was on accounts payable um, and some of the uh, purchasing related items. It gave us a little bit better um, structure and succession planning, so to speak, and coverage clarity. Uh, that position now though reports through human resources, both the uh, office service or admin services clerk positions do. Um, and then all the accountants now report through finance. So one used to be on HR and we, we kind of grouped them so that they'd all be within either finance or HR. So office or admin services clerks are HR and accountants are finance. Is that, uh, is that clerk two in the salary range of F as in Frank as the, as the uh, as the one we're deleting? Uh, Vicki informs me that that is a salary grade E as an elephant. Okay. And then uh, the, the new position, uh, which I support, but just asking a question about the salary under, under Emma's and Mary, the range on that is from 64147 uh, and the maximum on that on that M is eighty six thousand eight nineteen. Uh, I suppose where we start on that on that salary range M is going to depend on the on the candidate that we interview for that position, or do we usually try to start in Q two or Q three? Or what's our thinking on that? Jim, this is Vicki Schneider. I can uh, speak to that. Uh, the policy for the city has been to bring in individuals uh, generally in quartile one and again assessing the the individual's um, assets and their experience that that could be uh, that person could be brought in at a higher quartile that discussion is meant to be had with human resources and with the city administrators so that that's not uh, it, it's not a unilateral one person decision to make that. Okay, so it looks like it looks like we'll be uh, picking up additional salary in the HR department, but then uh, is it going to be somewhat less or about a wash because there's about a there's about a twenty thousand dollar difference, actually twenty five thousand dollar difference between F as in Frank and M. So this is an additional position for the finance department. So with the uh, AP purchasing clerk, that person did move over. Um, that level F went to a pay grade E, uh, and that person okay. had, or that position has moved over. All right. Thank you. Yep. Chair. Mary Lynn. Questions or comments? I'd look then for a motion to um, recommend to the council amending. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, who spoke? That was me, um, Mary Lynn. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to add one more comment, okay. if it's okay. All right, go ahead. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Um, I just to kind of expand on Alder Boren's uh, questions. One of the one of the tasks that uh, uh, Vicki and I are undertaking is uh, while we're looking at job descriptions and processes, we will be coming to the finance and personnel group in the near future because we will be reviewing all of the uh, pay scales um, throughout all of the departments. That's one of our goals to achieve this year. So we're looking to make sure that everything is within um, basically the guidelines of the municipalities and make sure that the, the, 
the number of uh, categories are accurate to what the job description and, and position are. Thank you. Any other questions, comments? Then a motion to uh, recommend to the council that the finance table, finance department table of organization be amended as set for it. So moved. So moved, Warren. Second, Marcus. Very good. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor state aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Chair votes aye. Uh, motion passes. I notice, I note rather, our next meeting is August 10th. Do we have any quorum issues? I suppose with nobody going anywhere, anyhow, anytime, uh, that's not as much of a problem as it used to be. Uh, could I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All right. We have a motion and second. All in favor, state aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.